Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box with the Technical Trader at thetechtrader.com. It's Wednesday, October the 7th. These are the charts of the day. Really good way day on Wall Street, and a lot of stocks are flying. I had to pare my list down in half, but here we go. Bloom Energy looking really good in here. And uh, the breakout above a triple top and out of a consolidation range tells me we're on our way to at least mid-channel at 26 thereabout. But the upper channel says from mid to high 40s, so that could be a longer-term play. We'll see. Ballard, after coming down through a one, two, three, four, five wave corrective truncated fifth wave and wedge, broke out. It broke out last week and it's continuing with another pop of dollar twenty six or seven percent today. All that's left is twenty one to test and take that out, and then you may be headed to mid twenties and even low thirties. CSSC, a new swing I put on, just popped right after the swing was put on, running from fourteen ninety four to seventeen fifty and finishing at sixteen ninety nine up. 204, 13.6%. It's a thinly traded stock, but mine did pick up. The OBB looks good too. I'm looking for a test and takeout in the 1790 range and then a move into the 21 range. 3D Systems exploded on a huge buy for this stock of 24 and a half million shares. I don't see a bar that big going back two years. So for me, this is an explosive breakaway day through the moving average, through lateral price resistance, through the declining tops line, and up to secondary resistance by target now seven. We get through that, we might see the stock make a run at eight or nine. Elon also popped out and exploded today on a huge 22.7 million shares traded, up 362 or 12.8%. There is some resistance right here. And what I'm looking for, though, is a test of the June uh, 2019 high, which came in about 35 and a half. We get through that, we may be looking at high 30s. FCX swing trade exploded today and broke back out, trading to 32 million shares up $1.33 or 8.5%. Looks to me like we're headed toward 20. GRWG put a new swing on it. The stock popped. It's closed right at breakout point. Buying picked up to 8.3 million, the best in about six, seven weeks. So this may be the beginning of a move. A near term target of 23, and then we're looking at 28. NK, our swing, which you put on when it broke out three weeks ago, then pulled back gently. Today, it's popping right back up again, a dollar one or 13% on 1.6 million. And for me, this is a breakout. It closed above the 50 for the first time since mid, uh, beginning of August. So um, a two month high and a two month breakout. So um, the next target is approximately 10. And then we may take it further. I would say something up around 12. Nicola, um, I'm convinced based on what I'm seeing that this was a massive one, two, three, four, five, and then um, another decline here, one, two, three, four, five. So we had a large one, two, three wave corrective. Now, if this is wave four and there's a fifth wave down, look out. But it seems to me that the, with the spike in volume here and the three day coil on low volume, today it popping out 8% or $1.88, this may be the beginning of a more substantial move up. First, to test the gap at 29 and a half. And then secondly, to getting up into the mid 30s. And an OX, after pulling back one day, snapped right back for 487 or 14%, 3.5 million traded, not enough volume, but I like the look of it. And I, I'm telling you, I'm looking for a run at 45 near term. If we get through that, then you're on your way to 50. Perion finally broke out on an excellent report. Breakaway gap, 800,000 is the biggest volume we've seen since August when it popped. This time, however, I think it's going to extend. I'll be looking for a run to about eight and a half, three quarters next, and then nine and a half. Plug really moving with energy, 54 million shares, the biggest volume in two months as it breaks through a triple top um, a couple of days ago and extends it out. I'm looking for a near term move to 21 and a half, 22. Purple pop, 340 or 13% today, breaking out, of, breaking out of a three day flag. Closing at the highest close we've seen in the stock since it came public. For me, I'm looking for 30 and 34. QTRX exploded for 648 or 17%. Volume picked up to 574,000. This is a fairly thin stock. That's good volume for it. It is at the top of the channel, but the feeling is here at new all time highs that this stock may accelerate into the high 40s, low 50s. Sava swing after it came out of a coil, it looked, took about seven, eight days to develop. And today popping a dollar or 8.8 percent. .8%. We need some more volume, but I think we're going to 15 and a half and then 19. Solitron may be forming an inverse head and shoulders. It certainly looks like a good pace. It's at resistance right here, 
But today it did pop 59 cents or almost 8%. Vaughn picked up to 4 to 21,000. We break through here. I think we're headed to 10 and then maybe 12. SPI extending its rebound off the steep pullback up another 9.5% today. It looks to me like there's a bit of resistance here. We'll probably test that tomorrow at 9 and 3 quarters. That's my near term target. Secondary target 12. SPWR now up for. Nine days in a row with explosive volume of nearly 19 million today. Looks to me like this one is at or above resistance. It's had a hell of a move from the lows in the two and a half range all the way up to 18 plus. So it may be extended near term, but has strong momentum. Sorrento moved a, almost a dollar today or 9%, and it may have popped out of this little consolidation. What I'm looking for is that retest of the 12 range. We get to 12, 12, 20. 14 is my next target, and then 16. To show you what shape the solar industry is in, look at the ETF for that group. TAN and rocketed from the March low of 21 to today's high of 75 and change, nearly quadrupling with huge volume the last couple of days. Near term, overbought. UMC looking really good. As we mentioned it a couple, uh, a couple of weeks ago, it was flagging here at four and a quarter today by 40. And today, up 53 cents or 11 percent as volume spiked to 5.8 million. I think the stock is long due for a much bigger move. Here's a weekly chart, and you can see we're at resistance. So if we pull back and consolidate, maybe it's set up. If not, look for a next test of six and a half up here. Vista Outdoor, beautiful chart, uh, channel. After breaking out of the flag and popping it back and retesting, it's moving up again. This is a new high on it. It's the highest level achieved since three years ago. So almost four. And if it does extend, I wouldn't be shocked if this made a move up towards there. And my target's 34. So looking for Vista to make a move into the mid 20s, high 20s, and then low to mid 30s. VVPR still looking at that beautiful coil, the breakout, and then maybe a retest on low volume. I still think this mo moves again. Near term scalp target 13, more than a scalp, 13, 15 are targets. We get through that, look out. And finally, YRCW swing on the move, now up for six days in a row, nine out of 10, and back up near the mid August high, and a test of five and a half, 565 coming up. We get through that, you're looking at seven and eight and a half. That's it for tonight, everybody. Have yourself a good evening, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye.